Hello all, Shadwell here, ready to talk about the next film in my collection, The Curse of La Llorona from 2019. It's directed by Michael Chavez and stars Linda Cardellini and Raymond Cruz. Okay, this film isn't a great example of what to do right in horror movies, but we gotta talk about the elephant in the room when it comes to this film. And to do so, I gotta give kind of a big spoiler, so consider this your spoiler alert. This film wasn't initially publicized as such, but as it turns out, this is secretly a film in the Conjuring universe. Or is it? I mean, I can end the argument by saying yes, I believe it 100% is, but I should say that the director holds back on that because the film has one of the main producers from the Conjuring films missing as a producer for this film. But the evidence to the contrary is far too much to ignore. First off, the daughter, Sam, has an off-brand Raggedy Ann doll that she has named Misty, which is a cutesy reference to the real-life Annabelle doll from the Conjuring universe, which is a Raggedy Ann doll. Also, Tony Amendola plays Father Alvarez in this film and the first Annabelle film. Oh, and the Father Alvarez character not only describes a run-in with the Annabelle doll, but they show a scene from that damn film. I'd say that is textbook dictionary definition example of being in the Conjuring universe. So please sit down, Mr. Chavez. This connection is the only reason I own the film because I'm not a huge fan of it for several reasons. But most notably being it's not much of a movie. It's more like one spookum scene that leads to a jump scare of La Llorona popping up somewhere than a quick scene that doesn't even try to connect a story throughout, followed by another spookum scene that leads to a jump scare of La Llorona popping up somewhere. Wash, rinse, repeat. Not much is going on in this film other than jump scares, which is kind of boring sometimes to be honest, and this is one of those times. It's also weird watching because it's hard to take Raymond Cruz for his character because he did such a goddamn good and memorable job on both Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul. It's not his fault, it's mine because he was iconic in his role on those TV series and it is hard to see him in anything else. Same goes for star Linda Cardellini, who spent six years on the TV series ER, ironically as a character named Samantha but goes by Sam, just like her daughter in this film is Samantha but goes by Sam. So this film has a lot working against it, and only about 40% of that is the film's fault, really, but I'm still going to give it a C-. Tomorrow I watched the unrated version of Cursed. See y'all then.